got an action replay on that, then. Do you want to come for a drink? I think you had quite enough to drink at the reception. Oh, I had the merest drop. George, there was one moment when you had a glass of champagne in each hand and you were complaining about the slowness of the service. No, really. <laughs> Tell you what, hmm? why don't you come into my place? Said the spider to the fly. For a brush down. A brush down? Mm -hmm. Okay. If that's what they're calling it nowadays. <laughs> Excuse me, I heard you can get a good brush down in this place. Two brush down and chips, please. Stand still, please. Okay. <laughs> well, anybody would think you were the one who got married. No, well, I did get married once. Did you? Yeah, can't, can't remember the girl now. <laughs> Pretty sort of face in a domineering way. Turn around. We never did find out who put the rice in me underpants, did we? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you another thing about that girl. What? She got a clothes brush just like that. Has she? Mm. There you are, that's better. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> I thought Kate looked very nice. She did. I think you've got a bit of confetti down there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. You don't uh, get off. <laughs> she did look nice, Kate. I thought he looked nice too. He combed his hair, you know. Do you think they'll be happy? Oh, I'm sure they'll be. I would have lived together for six years without rowing, didn't they? As far as we know. Yeah, I think that was probably due to Dennis. To Dennis. Oh, he's very, very tolerant. <laughs> Chap is Dennis, you know. It re reminds me a bit of myself, actually. I think I'll make a cup of tea. Yeah, he's a very pleasant, easygoing sort of chap. Like you. Oh, you've noticed that, have you? <laughs> yeah, you know, I was thinking in church about that girl. What girl was that? Well, the one who's uh, got a clothes brush like yours. Oh, yeah. And uh, I thought to myself, how could that girl, well, how could any girl, have left an easygoing, tolerant, patient this chap. This is not you again. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't completely leave you, did she? Did she not? No, oh, she drove you home today. She's making you a cup of tea. I knew I'd seen your face before. <laughs> yeah, you see, that would account for the clothes brush and everything, wouldn't it? Mm. What were you thinking? What, in church? Ah, it's the champagne. You don't want to pay any attention to me. That uh, brings out the truth, doesn't it? Does it? Well, actually, I was thinking the same thing as you. Really? But I didn't want to say anything because we've had our reconciliations before and it's always ended up in a terrible row. Terrible row? With easy-going patient? <laughs> <laughs> no, I admit, I admit, no, I'll be fair. I do, I do have the odd fault. Oh, so do I. This is true. This is very true. <laughs> <laughs> we've both got quick tempers. Tem yes, and I'm jealous, you see, half, half the trouble. And there has been the rare occasion when you haven't been entirely honest. <laughs> I'll admit that. I'll admit that. You see, it's the first time I've, I've listed any of my fault. I mean, that's, that's got to mean something, hasn't it? Listen, if we... Uh, if we made a big effort from now on, it's worth... It's worth thinking about, isn't it? Not the second time around. Yes, it's worth thinking about. Oh, that would please Dennis and Kate. If they felt that their wedding had, had got us to... <laughs> Good mind to ring them up. I know which hotel they're staying. George, no. no, no, listen, they're only staying there a day they're in Aylesbury. They said they might pop in on the way. <laughs> Don't rush things. OK. Well, I tell you what, let's have a nice, gentle, romantic meal for two tonight. Hmm? Tonight? Mm. I can't make tonight, George. What do you mean you can't make it? Well, I mean, I didn't know this was going to come up, did you I? You made other arrangements for dinner, have you? Uh, well, it was all arranged a long With time... With a bloke. <laughs> George, this is just what we've been talking about. Honesty, honesty, yeah. You honesty. being tolerant. And honesty is what we've been talking about. And not being jealous. Mostly about honesty we've oh, been talking about. What is dishonesty? <laughs> going out to dinner. Because there's no point in talking about a second time around if you've got a string of blokes waiting for a first time around. <laughs> that is exactly what you would think. Well, blimey, O'Reilly, what do you expect me to think? I suppose there is no use in my telling you that at this moment in time there is no man in my life. No, it's no use at no, all. I didn't think it would be. Miss Lonsdale, some flowers for you. Look at that. Yeah, proof of the pudding, hoist by your own pen. I hope you prick your bloody fingers. <laughs> Hello, George. Hello. Don't you remember me, Maureen? We met at the golf club when we had a game last month. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yes, of course. I didn't recognise you with your clothes on. With... <laughs> without, your, without your golf gear on, yes. I'm sorry I couldn't make dinner that night. That's all right. Listen, you, uh, you wanted a rain check on that, didn't you? Well, uh, it's not raining, but check. Check? Well, uh, listen, I know an awfully good Spanish place. Yeah. The other side of town, yes. Don't drink, that's a simple 
answer to it. Just stop drinking. It's no, there's no problem about it. I'm not going to drink anymore, and that's the end of it. I mean, there's no problem. Hangover cures for hooligans. That's what we want. <laughs> Where's the index? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eye opener cocktails. Corpse revivers. <laughs> versus one and two. Prairie oyster. That's it. A prairie oyster. <laughs> Hi there, reveler. <laughs> How are you doing? If you can read this, you're not as bad as you feel. <laughs> Okay. One lemon. Mm. Some other juice. Oh. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Okay, okay. And a glass. Right. Squeeze a lemon. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze a lemon into the glass. Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> One ounce tomato juice. How the hell do you weigh tomato juice? <laughs> no way it come with that. Gently on top. <laughs> this could be fun. offered me a lift home last night, but the most you could manage by the end of the evening was to lift me on the sofa. Are those my pyjamas? Yes. It never looked like that. <laughs> I know what it was. I know what this was. It was that Spanish wine last night. That's what it was. Well, you were trying to drink it the Spanish way, yeah. straight from the decanter. Or one into the mouth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad trick, is it? <laughs> well, except that yours didn't go into your mouth. No. No, it went up your nose, in your eyes, in your ears, down your shirt, all over. All over the... But shirt. you didn't actually drink any. No, well, it was a nice little restaurant, a beautiful little restaurant, wasn't it? Well, everything reminded you of Susie. Oh, surely not. Yes, even when we got back here, the conversational topic was somewhat oh, dear, limited. Oh dear. I don't start. I didn't start in politics, did I? Well, you touched on Mr. Wilson. Oh dear. Oh yes, dear. Yes, and Mr. Heath. Heath, yeah, yeah. And even Neville Chamberlain rated a man. <laughs> Neville, who? <laughs> you should have stopped. You should have stopped me, Maury. Well, I didn't need to. Somehow, Susie cropped up again. Mm. Honestly, George, you two ought to remarry. Then you could talk to her directly. Tell you the truth, Maureen, we were actually talking about that when you, when you arrived yesterday. Oh, sorry. No, it's not your fault, not your... The flowers sort of killed it. The, see, the trouble is, a lot of blokes fancy her, you see. Oh, including her relations. How do you mean? Well, the card said, uh, Happy birthday, darling. Love from Auntie Hester and Uncle Bill. Happy... It's a birthday. It's a, it's a birthday. Mm. That, her mother always takes her out for a meal the night before her, but... 
<laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to make it up to it. Look, I'll tell you, I'll go, I'll go out today and buy, I'll buy a, re a really cracking present. That's what I'll do. It's Sunday. Oh, blast. Hey, the greengrocer's open. Oh, great. What are you suggesting? Pound of sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll have, to, I'll have to buy a really, a really nice, um, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> My bracelet. Isn't it nice? Mm. That's really, that's really, really, I couldn't borrow it, could I? What for? Lend to Susie. Do you often lend people birthday presents? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I, I usually give them for keeps, you know. But in, in, in this case, uh, she, you'll get it back. She, doesn't, she, she, she won't like it. But it's lovely. Oh, this is nice. No, this is a beautiful bracelet. But she, but she doesn't like bracelets. Oh. No, no, you see, what I'll do is... Uh, I'll say happy and then say, Oh, sorry, I suddenly remember you don't like bracelets. I'll change it at the shop. You see, you see what I mean? Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, George, it's of great sentimental value. You'll get, you'll get it back within five minutes. Hon honestly, you haven't got any wrapping, but of course you haven't. I've so. <laughs> <laughs> never got any in it. Susie always said keep, keep the way up. It's a, there's a bit of wrapping paper. That's for Christmas! Oh, I know it's for Christmas. She won't notice. She'll be, she'll be so knocked out by the... Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't wrap it up for me, would you? No, because, because all my parcels are a bit lumpy, you see. <laughs> That's good. That, you'll, 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 you'll have to lie low. Lie low? Well, but if she finds out you've been here, I mean, I'll be down the pad. Listen, mm. um, that's, that, that's great. That's absolutely marvellous. Thank, thanks. You, you don't mind making your own way home, do you? Mm. I mean, the station's <laughs> only about four, four mark. Make, make yourself a cup of coffee, but, but whatever you do... Mm, don't rattle the saucepan. Right. Wish me luck. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear ex-wife. Happy birthday. <laughs> Forgotten? Me, for, me forgotten your birth? You've got to be joking. George, George, you've never, ever, ever remembered my... Oh, George, you should... Oh, come on now. It's really, 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 it's nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a mere bauble. Hmm? Oh, you... Oh, thank you, George. Oh, darling. It's beautiful. Yes, it's, uh, it's... No, oh. just a minute. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, so, sorry. What? I'm sorry. I just remembered you. Uh, you don't like bracelets, do you? Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, I, what I'll do is, is, is take it back to the uh, shop and exchange it. But, George, I want to keep it. You can't. What? You can't, uh, you can't possibly like it. Uh, what I'll do is, is, is get you something that you'd, you'd really like. You oh, no, see. but, George, really, I really do like it. Get this, you is a, this is the most wonderful surprise I've ever had. Necklace, perhaps. No. A nice, <laughs> nice new watch. Because there's no watch here. No, it's Load, fine. Is it? Uh, George, oh, I still can't believe... Oh, George. <laughs> now, listen. Yeah? What are we going to do today? Well... Because it's got to be something very special. Right. Just the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Because we've got a lot to talk about. Yes, we? we have, darling. Yeah. I'll tell you what, um, look, have you had breakfast? I drank an egg. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I've... Or what about an omelette? No, I don't think an omelette, no. Are you sure? Just a cup of tea, you'll be fine, yeah. All right, well, look, you go and get dressed. Yeah? And I'll put the kettle on. OK. Mm. Don't be loud. All right, darling. Oh, <laughs> nearly came off, didn't it? <laughs> George? Yeah? I'm never going to take it off. <laughs> Morning. Everything's worked out fine. Oh, where's my bracelet? Yeah, she's invited me for breakfast. George? You had your breakfast. Hadn't? Where's my breakfast? And she's so knocked out by that uh, bracelet. Yes. Oh, the bracelet? Yes. It's funny you should say that because, um, strangely enough, she's, um, taken a fancy to it. What? It's, it's a temporary, just a temporary, temporary fancy, you see. But you said I'd get it straight back. Oh, I know I said that. And that's strange because I thought she, she didn't like bracelets and, uh, and she's changed her mind, you see. It's funny because women do. You know, they do change that. Well, you know, because you are one. George, <laughs> I am not leaving here without my bracelet. No, listen, I... I pro I pro I, you'll get it back in five minutes, I promise you. George! Darren. 
<laughs> you haven't changed. I haven't changed a bit. Oh, changed. <laughs> not a, not a, well, of course, I haven't had a lot of time, you see. Because you know what I was thinking? Yeah, I bet you've changed your mind about that bracelet. No, you? I told you I love it. Yeah? No, what I was thinking was... <laughs> why why did it change? I mean, we never used to bother. Come as you are. All right, all right. I'll come like this, then. Oh, come on. Well, I, I've just got to, uh, just got to, um... To shave. You never uh, used to do that. Wash my, wash my chin. Wash, wash. Well, look, don't be long. All right, now, I'll be there in, in, in two ticks, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, listen. Listen, uh, do, do, do me one more big favour, will you? What now? Go upstairs. Oh, really? And get, get changed. Mm. And, uh, listen, I, I, I won't forget this. Oh, I won't forget it either, George. I'll, 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 bring, I'll bring that bracelet as soon as I can. You'll, you'll, you'll get it back. And uh, keep in touch. I will. I'm available for bridesmaids. Mm. George. How long since we did this? Well, breakfast on our own. Mm. Oh, long time. Too long. Mm. Let's have a really marvellous day today, shall we, Dan? Mm. Mm, is it my perfume? No, it's more like the toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Takes me back a bit, that does, Dan. Oh, yeah. breakfast with a burnt toast, in it? Well, occasionally, only occasionally. Only Very occasionally. occasionally. Yes, as you used to say, uh, charcoal's nearly as good as calcium for the teeth, isn't it? George, we could talk about something. Yes, other all than right. Burnt yes, toast. Can I make the tea? Can no, I make it's the me. Tea? There it is. Oh dear, oh dear. What's wrong? You, you forgot the tea. You always forget to put the tea. I'll take it through. Thank I'll you. Through. <laughs> Here's the milk. Yep. No, what's wrong? There's little, bit, little bits floating in. Have you used this jug for boiling milk, darling? It is quite likely. Oh, it's all right. No, it's all right. Because I like little bits floating in the top. <laughs> <laughs> Marmalade! You are? Marmalade! No, I, I, I really only like honey with that. You, Apart from that uh, marmalade, that marmalade is, is the, you know, that's favourite. That's marvellous. Thick cut. Don't you like thick cut? F fit, fit, fine. It's fine. It's, yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's unsalted. What the butter? Yeah. Do you mind? Oh no, I don't. No, I don't mind unsalted butter. Honestly. But it's uh, better for cooking, you see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should, should we keep going? <coughs> That's it. Listen, let's. Uh, Let's go for a drink Sunday lunchtime. We always used to. Remember? I remember you banging on the pub door at 5 to 12. Oh, well, you've got to have a drink Sunday. One? Well, depending on my thirst. Unquenchable. We always used to get back... Well, we used to get back most Sundays. Yeah, we usually with half the pub with us for lunch. Yeah, well, you, you can't see your mates having bangers and mash on a Sunday, can you? We, we always had a big joint. And not by the time we got back, we didn't. No, they did tend to shrink a bit, didn't they? <laughs> they weren't all my friends, you know. One particular fella. Matthew, crashing ball. He was extremely intelligent. Well, it, was, it was difficult to say. I mean, I couldn't listen to him for more than five minutes without risking lockjaw yawning. <laughs> well, he was the only one who ever offered to wash up. Considering how often he bought a bloody round, he should have waited at table as well. Lager and uh, find a bit of peace. This takes me back a bit, this, does he? Yeah. Old Chelsea Potter in the King's Road. Hey, uh, yeah. Make, uh, make a long arm for the free crisps, will you? Uh, excuse me, could you pass the crisps, please? Oh. Thank you. Hello. 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 <coughs> 30 pounds, <please. laughs> Okay, thank you. I delivered your birthday roses yesterday. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't quite place you. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Worst things have happened to me. <laughs> don't, don't let your uh, lager get uh, warm, darling. What? Oh, uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Did you get some nice things for your birthday? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Uh, look. <gasps> that bracelet? Mm -hmm. Do you want a sausage? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> well, that is lovely. I wonder who gave you that. Uh, well, actually, it was uh, this gentleman here. 
Oh, really? Mm. Well, that's the kind of friend to have, eh? <laughs> Not only remembers your birthday, but such good taste with it. Hey, did you hear that, George? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, did you want the sausage or not? <laughs> Can I see? Mm. Mm. Yes, of course you can. They do a very good Scotch egg here, if you'd... Uh... Oh, I like antique things. Yes, so do I. Um... Oh, look. There's an inscription. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen from Victor. <laughs> I never saw that. George, did you see that? No, I didn't. I didn't see that. <laughs> what did you say? Two Maureen, oh, Maureen from Victor. Maureen from Victor. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who they were. My name's Maureen. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, this bit. This bit is flat. You don't happen to know a Victor, do you? Well, I did once, yes. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't drink this I can't drink this bitter. Well, George, order something else. No, because I tell you what, um, there's, a, there's a lot of pubs around here, darling. I mean, this is, I, and we ought to go and see a few more pubs. Oh, George, please, no, not a pub crawl. You know I always feel terrible. Yeah. You won't feel so good if you stay here. What? <laughs> Come on, darling. Well, look, I haven't even finished my lager. Well, look at that lager. I mean, look at the lager. That lager, you see, that lager is as flat as the beer. I mean, the bo it's contagious. Come understand. on, darling. Come really on. I'd like to go now. That's all. I'd like to go. Oh. Her master's voice. What? Oh, he's very persuasive. He can be, yes. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> well, uh, nice to have met you again. Yes. Have a very happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Marvellous day. Hmm? All duty. Kate and Dennis. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they'll pop in on the way back. George, hmm? much as I love Dennis and Kate, there's some day I love more. Really? Mm -hmm. And with whom I would prefer to spend the rest of my birthday alone. Just your birthday? Well, I might extend the time limit. Mm. You mean I can keep my glass slippers until after midnight? <laughs> What's wrong? Where is it? Your bracelet. Where's your bracelet? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Where, where is oh, it? Oh, no, John. I don't know. Now, wait a minute. I had it in that pub when I was talking to that girl. What? I know you had it, and I never forget that. <laughs> you shouldn't have what? I told you not to wear it. Well, what do you expect me to do? Put it in a glass case on a blooming velvet cushion? Look, I'll, I'll look outside. You ring up the pubs, will you? Oh. Just a minute. Hello, George. This is Maury. I just wanted to let you know I found the bracelet in the pub after you left. It's, it's Maureen. She's found the bracelet. Maureen? Hmm. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, hello, Maureen. Well, that's, that's, that's fine, isn't it? Um, look, thanks very much for lending it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> There's something I'd like to, uh, to tell you. I don't want to know. About the, uh, bracelet, you see. Don't want to know about the bracelet. Well, it's about Maureen. No, I don't want to know about Maureen either. And I don't want to know about what she said on the phone. You mean you don't want me to be honest? I would like you to be honest from now on. Listen, I'll, I'll buy you a birthday present, darling. Oh, not a bracelet, thank No, you. no, something, something a bit, uh, a <laughs> bit smaller. About the same shape. Like a wedding ring? Dennis, Dennis and Kate, I'd have to come in. Just, a, just a quick drink, all right? Mm. Married, 24 hours, and you can't wait to visit friends. No, I can't. Very flattering. <laughs> Kate, I just want to see a smile on someone's face instead of a snarl. Hello, Hello. George. Hello. Come on, Dennis. No. Come on, Riley. Right oh. Sit down. Kate. Well, it's just for a moment. <laughs> well, now look here, you, uh, you stay, you stay as long as you like, right, darling? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after all, we had a few drinks off you yesterday, didn't we? Yeah? Oh, that's all right. Her mother was paying. <laughs> How was the honeymoon? Unforgettable. Short, too short, as you think, was it? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Well done, well done. <laughs> well done. Um, what are we going to have to drink? Well, let's see now. Don't um... forget, her mother's not paying this time. <laughs> oh, a very small gin and tonic, okay, please. Thanks. Yeah, a large scotch for me, George. Oh, she's driving, is she? She is, and the less I see of the road in front, the better. <laughs> Well, how does it feel to be married? Oh, fine, fine. You should try it sometime. <laughs> we were saying only yesterday, weren't we, Kate? George and Susie look the happiest couple in church. Uh, oh, honestly? Isn't that nice, yes. darling? Well, the second happiest couple. Yeah, and who were the first? Kate's parents. They got her off the shelf at last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, um, how, how was the, uh, how was the hotel? Oh, fine, fine. Yeah. I bet he's still kicking himself. What do you mean? He paid for a double bed, but he spent the night on the floor. <laughs> well, he tried he had a hard day, hadn't he? It was an even harder night. <laughs> How, how's your drink, uh, Kate? It could have been just about the most embarrassing moment of my life this morning. The chambermaid comes to the bridal suite with tea to find me in bed and him on the floor. But well, what did you do? Well, what could I do? When she knocked at the door, I grabbed a blanket and joined him down there. <laughs> Another time, will it? And when he did wake up, he grumbled about the price of breakfast. Well, 50 pence for a pot of tea. It was a honeymoon pot. Oh, quite. Shut up. Didn't even want tea. No, you wanted a glass of water and an aspirin. Listen, uh, listen. How, how, how was our wedding present? Okay. Who forgot the aspirins? I remember the glucose. I didn't expect to have to calm you down. <laughs> so, to towels were the right colour, were they? The towels? I wanted were they, scrambled they? eggs, but that was an extra 30 pence. Oh, Dennis, I mean, it was a wedding breakfast. Look, you mind your own business. Don't you tell me what. <laughs> so, for the sake of 80 shut pence. Shut up! Don't tell Kate to shut up. Listen, Susie, as far as I'm concerned, you can tell Kate what the hell he likes. She only ever has a cup of tea at home. I wasn't at home. I was on my honeymoon. Honeymoon after all these years. Whose idea was it to get married anyway? Well, I wouldn't have married you if I'd known it was going to turn you into an old Scrooge. Well, I certainly wouldn't have married you if I'd known it was going to turn you into a compulsive eater. <laughs> Six years we've lived together in perfect harmony. Why should marriage have to ruin it all? Listen, seconds out. Word of advice from an old married couple to... To a new married couple, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've discovered the secret of, of, of happy coexistence today, haven't we, darling? We have. I mean, what would you say is the most important? What would you put at the top of the list? Right at the top? Yeah. First of all, you've got to borrow a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've got to forget anniversaries. Particularly birthdays. Burn the toast. Get bits of the milk. And whatever you do, live in separate houses. 